Uh, welcome to the official BMW IBO World Cup press conference after women relay here in RuPaul in Germany. We had the winning team of Norway, Caroline Knoten, Ingrid Landmark, uh, Landmark Tandrevold, Thierry Lekov and Marte Olsburg Reusland. France represented by Anaïs Bescom, Celia Monnier. And third place, Switzerland, represented by Ita Gasparin and Lena Hecke. A moose is back. He's back. The same moose or new moose? The same. <laughs> <laughs> so where was he? Where was the moose? There is, um, he's still stuck in Uncle. He's waiting for us for the World Championships. OK. Uh, Caroline, uh, it looked like really crowded in the first leg. How difficult was it to position yourself and to find the room to perform? So many women had problems today. Yes, uh, I was fortunate to start in the front row, so it's pretty okay until I think the last hill. I think people came from, it's so wide in the track, so people come from every direction. And I tried to go to the right in the, when I was going into stand, I had the shooting range. So I knew I had to go further down to the, the uh, yeah, to number one. So it was kind of hard to get get through, but I think, um, yeah, that wasn't some so much problem. Thank you, congratulations. Yeah. Ingrid, I quote you now from Oberhof, okay? You were pissed off with your shooting in Oberhof, but I think this was your best relay performance this season. How did you see your um, performance today? Uh, I tried to just uh, uh, take the shot on the on the first sight and uh, be really yeah, clear in my mind today, not think overthink and too much and be afraid. Uh, so yeah, I'm quite satisfied. Uh, of course, it's uh, annoying to miss the last shot, but uh, I think that. Uh, I um, must be satisfied with uh, the best relay for me this year. Yes, thank you. Congratulations. Uh, Tyril, you erased 45 seconds from the, uh, the leading team's lead. Uh, what do you concentrate on when you go on such chase? It looked almost like you would be on the downhill most of the time today. I was in the downhill. You looked as fast as you would be on oh, the downhill. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, there's something I learned about relays and that is uh, never give up because uh, we have uh, it's always opportunities and it changed so fast and 45 seconds it's not so much so uh, I tried to um, yeah ski as fast as I could and um, shoot good so I think I managed it good thank you congratulations <laughs> thank you Marte, you went head-to-head uh, -head with Justine, who is as fast as you. How important was it to shoot the first shot in the prone to, to set the authority for um, the last leg? It was not so important. That was nothing I tried to do. I just tried to do a, do a good prone. And um, I'm happy that I, I did <laughs> and uh, got some seconds before the standing. And also before the last uh, last leg, so um, yeah, I'm satisfied with my race and the team. Thank you, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Anais, it's second place after the third place in Oberhof. Can you tell us how you feel you uh, used your exchange and how important is it for France to have the same team in the same starting positions to build a successful team? Oh. Um, I'm not sure it's just about the, the person or the legs, like uh, um, it's okay, it's the same than last week and, uh, and it wasn't uh, the same in December, but uh, I think we just uh, find uh, maybe a new mood and uh, Germany is good for us, maybe. <laughs> and how do you feel you, you used your um, exchange because you brought France in the lead? Um, I really believe that it's important to have a good start for the for the team, and uh, to be uh, for sure in the contact of the lead or 
at the lead. <laughs> but uh, we did uh, a really nice uh, teamwork today, and uh, it's really important. And uh, so I am happy, yes. and we are happy. Thank you. Congratulations. Celia, can you build on this? Because you had fantastic standing shooting, so you brought yourself back in the first position. How happy are you with your and team's performance? Um, we're just uh, really happy about uh, this place, and uh, I'm really happy about my race, of course. Um, like I said to Anais, uh, I don't know if I did a good race because I don't see, I don't saw what's happened behind me or in front of me, so I don't know, I just do my best, and uh, I think it's good for the team. Yes, thank you, congratulations. Aita, uh, Gasparin sisters somehow kept Switzerland out of drama until you handed it to Lena. So how did you manage to do this and how do you rate your rates today? We had a good start with Elisa. She had uh, only 11 shots. She lost a bit more time on her last lap compared to the previous um, relays, but Selina had a really fast last lap, so the time gap was not that big, and I could go without any extra shots. This is kind of the key, it looks like. <laughs> like last three times I could do this, and it was the point, the key point, that I um, didn't lose too much time on the track, and I could send Lena to her stage with same um, time, like being behind first leader, as I overtook from Selena, and then Lena just did perfect race. Um, I think only second time she shot clean in ten shots, uh, yeah, and it was necessary today. She was also really fast, and we definitely should adapt her. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. So, Lena, how did you manage not to get ahead of yourself? Uh, you also knew it was Hannah and Denise after you, so you really, as Aita said, you had to deliver as you did today. Yeah, I think the shooting was the key today, and I had the perfect shooting today. And um, this uh, shooting range, I train a lot here in the summer, and I think that's also um, one thing that you learn here, how the wind is and how um, the shooting range is. It's... Um, not the difficult one, but it's uh, sometimes you d do some um, easy mistakes because you think, yeah, it's so easy that you um, miss one. But um, today I focused really good on uh, my shots and tried to hit them right in the center. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you very much. <laughs>